This is Blake Ham, the water worker, and today I'm doing part part three of my chest build, my little small chest, which I have here, and I've ripped a bunch of these two-inch strips from the flooring. I'm sure this is pointy. I just don't want to lose my setup exact exact setup even though it's at two, but I just didn't want to lose it, so I just made extra so that I know I have enough. And I don't really have an outfit table, so I just use a sawhorse, which when I'm done cutting them, they just fall like this, and then they will fall down. But that's just what I use for my outfit table. So, um, we can start cutting and making the face frames for the box. I've actually done all three parts today. I wish I could do that time lapse. If, when people take videos, I'm, I'm doing a bunch of repetitive things, like they're in time lapse and the video's going fast. But I've never, I don't really figured out how to do that. So I wait for the truck. So what we're doing is making those face frames to go around, which um, we'll cover these screws, but then we're also going to put some more screws in it to hold the face frames on about the same area. So I'm going to go ahead and get some measurements and cut. I'm going to measure what I need for the front. I'll cut them, and then I'll show you putting it together, and then I'll go ahead and do the other two sides. Okay, so I have the face frame laid out with all the measurements for the front, and whenever I have these grooves, I just noticed this, I'm glad I did, because these have some grooves on the side of it, I don't know if you can see this, um, I want that facing out because that would be covered, the inside might be covered completely, I don't know for sure about the trim that I'll be using, depending on how thick stuff the trim is that I'll put in the inside, but these will, all the edges will be covered, this will just be on the bottom, you won't see it, the top will be covered with a layer a piece of wood over here to cover the end grain of all the boards or this is the edge grain or whatever that will be there. And the way that I like to join these is my Craig jig. Okay the clamp is already set good. This is a tape measure. Right there. I think oh no it is three quarter which I'm pretty sure is already set for three quarter because that's what I pretty much use all the time. Yep. And good. So this is already set. I was going to show you setting it up, but it already is apparently. And I didn't realize this store's back here. I've seen a video with the guy, and the guy put it there. I didn't see that before. Okay, so this is how I have it laid out, how I want them and everything. So I'm going to take this, flip it over, drill two Craig's um, two holes, and I like to use a plug-in drill because it's hard on the motors and electric drills that um, run on battery, and I just prefer to use this. It's quicker also, and it doesn't drain your batteries really fast. This is magnetic. Okay, so I'll go ahead and drill my two holes. I got it all set up. And I just set up this table that we used from the garage sale. So I'm working on my table saw, which is a lot nicer to work on this. This one seems harder than usual. I just like to keep that clean, keep them accurate. Okay, so I got these four drilled. It will connect that. I'll do the same here. Try to do this a little quicker. Clamp this down 
your crochet, which I usually do. But it's a little thick. This table is a little thick for it. And I have no problem without tape. Without quick it now. Okay, so I have both of those drilled. They just look really weird because of the root on top and stuff. But they all turn out the same. Okay, so I have those already drilled. So I'm going to flip this over, flip this over, making sure that the root is on the outside. Flip this over, making sure the roots and just like that. These will all go together like this. Grab my driver and my other. Blanket chest is three quarters, so it takes inch and a quarter screws. So last time I was at Lowe's, I bought a whole box of 500 of them. Kind of expensive, 20 bucks for it. But the only thing I kind of messed up on, I got fine thread, which is okay. It usually works, and especially since I'm going to be using this hardwood flooring, it's hardwood, so it's fine. So these will go together. You can clamp them. Um, I can't. I don't think I can open the face clamp that I have enough. I have two of these and one of these. Let's see if I can hurry up. Get this open enough to go over here and over the wood. I got it. Let's use this test piece. So this table really isn't even smooth underneath. Okay, that'll work right there. It's a little tricky. Oh, no, it hangs okay. Slide on the back. See, it still has these grooves. Again, making sure that you have the grooves out. Clamping it down. It helps a lot without it moving. That definitely helps a lot. When I did my big chest, I didn't clamp it down like this. And they lift it up a little bit. But it didn't here at all. But it's very nice and smooth. So I'm glad I did that. There's a little bit of ridge, but there probably always will be. I'm going to go ahead and attach all these, and then I'll show you how I attach it to the box. This video is probably getting pretty long. So I'll go ahead and put the face frame together, and then I'll show you putting it on the box. I think this face frame with this color wood is definitely going to look pretty good. Pretty cool looking. Um, it's a little bit left to make it so it's right there. It's nice flat like that right there. <clears throat> okay, um, I'll pre drill and then show you. It's kind of a gap down here, but it like it'll be trip um I'm looking for. It'll be covered up. I'm not doing a very good today. It'll be covered up by the trim. <clears throat> so hopefully I do the trim or it will not be covered up. Okay, so I'm going to pre drill my drill. And I'm using the inch and a quarter screws again. These will not go through the wood and this, which is perfect. Just try, make sure we don't sink them very much. 
You can actually take your face clamp if you really want to. Line it up how you want it. Clamp it in. I'll do, I do one. I do one in the top runner. I'll show you this one done. Do one in the top runner, one in the side runner, and one in the bottom. They don't have to be on the edge. Out of all places, I hit the screw that I connected this with. I'm like, I'm right on top of it. Well, that will be covered up anyways, because those legs, so you want it to about a half inch away from the edge. Just to make sure they get covered up. And then, again, one in the bottom. And I hit another screw. Wait, how did I? This is quite weird how I keep hitting the screws. It's okay though. Like I said, it will be covered up. So now I have one, two, three, four, five holes. Now I need three. But it's fine. And I forgot to put glue in here on the Craig Jigs. And I forgot to put glue on the price frame. I really forget to put glue on things because I'm really, I don't really like using glue. I do and don't. So I have one in here, one in here, one in here. These two hit screws like dead on. Just my luck. Put it on the side, which you really don't need to because these three screws will stop it from pivoting, but it's just what you prefer to do. Hey, I didn't hit a screw. I need like something to get the wood out of the drill. See by a screw. Nope. <sighs> okay. Put my three screws in there, and then I use. Which actually, I really needed to put glue in here. Um. I could take it off, take out the screws and take it off, or I can just leave it, which I will. Because I usually put glue in it and then use my nail gun for on these faces. Because in those faces the screws won't be covered up, there's nothing that will be going there. So now, front face frame is pretty much attached. Um, here's a little bit of a gap, but like I said, it will be covered up by the trim. I'll take my nail gun and put some nails through here just to hold it in the middle. And I'll finish the two end frames, and then I'll get back with you, and that'll probably be the end of part three. Okay, so I think it turned out really nicely. Got the face frames on. Yes, that looks bad. But like I said, the legs will be covering that up. So I got the side frames on and everything. This, that's it for this um, part. There will be a part four.
I think, yeah, part four, this is part three. Doing the legs and maybe some trim, depending on how long it takes for the legs. So that's, so far, is the small chest. Um, I think it's really turning out good, and I can't wait to see the finished product. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.